And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple fire icon in Adobe Illustrator. Under view I've got a smart guide and snap to point only activated and I'll start with the black fill now stroke and I use the ellipse tool holding shift to create a circle. Let me align it to the center, it's still selected, I go to object, lock and selection. So now I can't select it anymore. But we've got the path of the circle that we can use. Let me use the pen tool, I swap the colors and I make the stroke light orange and now just left click and then click and drag and if you hold control you can move these anchor points around while well, the pen tool is still active so when you release control you can continue drawing and if you want to release these paths that the pen tool would create so these curves you just have to go back to the last anchor point and click on it and then you've got these sharp edges instead of curves. And as you can see, when you create curves, you've got these handles. And when you hold control, you can also adjust them while the pen tool is still active. When it comes to exceeding the circle, just close the shape so it doesn't matter what you create here, we're going to get rid of that later on anyway. Let us create a second element that should resemble the flames and I use a darker orange for that and again I use the path of the circle so click and drag and move the handles around until you've got the curve that you want release it by going back to the latest anchor point, click on it and repeat the process until you have it closed with the path of the circle from left to right. And then again just click outside of the circle to close your path completely. Let me move that around, so I'll swap the colors here, then it's the active right click arrange and bring it to front. So the light orange is now in front, I swap the colors for the dark orange element as well. Before we can select it all, we have to go to object and unlock it all. Now we've got the circle selected as well and I can simply use the shape builder to hold alt and get rid of the overlaps. Let me now select the circle and delete it. So we can still move the anchor points around with the direct selection tool, you can press A for that. And you can obviously also play around with the handles to change the curvatures or the angles. And that's what we wanted. So when it comes to icon design it's about simplicity, but sometimes you want to make it a little bit more complex and add a gradient. Let me show you how that's done. So these are two different elements and I can select them with the selection tool and then open my gradient menu and add a gradient. Let me start with the default black and white and I make that radial as a type. And then I double click on these little color circles below the scale and I give that a yellow and an orange color. If you want to adjust it further just use the gradient tool in your tool menu on the left. And then you can, for example, increase the radius and move it a little bit around. That should be good. Let me add a gradient for the second element as well. I just need to select it with the selection tool. And then I can click on the last gradient that I've created and I only have to change the colors. Let me use something like this and now I'll use the gradient tool on top. I'll rotate it first. I'll 
I'll increase the radius and I'll move it a little bit around. Maybe to something like this. As I've said, I like it when it's simple, when it comes to icon design. So let us just compare both. I'll select it, hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. Let me move that a little bit to the center. And now I'll just give the right one the basic swatches again. And you can see I've misclicked here. So that was my mistake. Let me just fix that. I'll delete this one and I'll copy the one with the gradient once more by holding Alt. Let me give them the basic swatches. Maybe that's a good combination and you can see that has fixed the problem that I've had prior. And this is how you can create such a basic fire icon in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.